Hello, this is Micah Williamson with Clive Point Geographics. Today we're going to discuss ArcGIS Pro, Azure's new 64-bit GIS desktop application. I'm going to assume a couple of things. I'm going to assume that you know GIS. I'm also going to assume that you have Pro installed. I'm not going to have time to discuss uh, licensing or anything like that. When you open up Pro, you see templates on the right-hand side. I'm going to open up the Blake template, tell it where to put the project, Call it demo zero, and when I add it and open it, it opens. I have a blank project. Blank means blank. There's nothing here at all. There's not even a map here at all. It's just the blank um, shell of the project. So I'm going to go to insert ribbon and hit uh, add map, and it adds a map. It adds the uh, topographic map from Esri. It's the base map, and then uh, if I wanted to actually add layers, now I can add a layer. We'll just pause for a second. I'm going to go to the project section and look at the options. So when I look, I can see all the options that you would have in ArcMap. You actually have uh, some more options that you have. Uh, this is where you can actually say to save after a certain increment of time or a certain number of changes automatically. You can go your, see what your licenses you have. This is where you can check to see if you want to take the project offline and use Arc Pro offline. And then also I want to go to portals. Portals is a specific to ArcGIS online portals. This is not where you would put a REST endpoint into the project. This is only where you put ArcGIS online portals, yours or somebody else's or a public one or whatever. If you want to add REST endpoints, you go back to the insert tab and then you say uh, connections and this is where you add databases. This is where you would type in a REST endpoint. Uh, that's very specific because we're all using ArcGIS server so much these days. So let me just add a ArcGIS service and show you when I go to the add data button I can actually see the ArcGIS REST endpoint of the data that I wanted to see in this demo um, REST endpoint. I, I can also when I hit add data you probably saw it there's a way to add a folder and I can add a specific folder to this project uh, it's very project specific and when I hit back to add data you see that one folder in my folder list as well as the default project name all right, everything is very project specific in this. Let me close this out. I'm going to open up. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like in Windows. These are the folders that actually in the files that get created when you create a project in Pro. It creates a toolbox. It creates a, an APMX. It creates a default geo database and an index folder. I'm not too familiar what's in the index folder. APMX is the MXD for Arc Pro. I'm going to open up another demo, one that I already had a map added to, and I want to show you something that when the connection that I used on the previous map is not here anymore, neither are the folder connections that I created. Connections are project specific. The entire project is independent of any other project that you might have. All right, that's kind of an important point. Now you can actually create a template, a project template, so that you can kind of begin all of your projects from the same way with the same connections. That's an idea for you to be able to have. All right, I want to insert one of these map notes. There we have a lot of templates for map notes. I haven't explored on how to make my own template, but I'm just going to add the dark map notes. And what I get is points, lines, and polygons. I get um, what looks to be GIS layers. Uh, it's very handy. They're already symbolized in certain ways. Let me zoom out here. I'm going to create, use the edit ribbon and create a couple of these points. I'm going to grab um, this point or this line and I'm going to kind of uh, just draw a picture around here. You see very familiar tools, things that you're used to. I'm going to deselect, grab another line, make a zigzag over here. And um, just for good measure, I'm going to grab a couple of these points and just put a bunch of points all over the map. It doesn't necessarily matter. I'm just using, um, giving you a good feel of what it looks like to do. Clear this tab. Now I can select. I've been using select. I have attributes. Everything looks and acts just like a feature class and that really is because it is a feature class. I'm going to open up our catalog here. To prove my point, when I open up our catalog, I'll drill into the actual folder that gets created by Pro in the project that I, I opened up and created. And inside the geo database that is created with the project, I see three feature classes. Line dark, point dark, and polygon dark. And that is all of the map notes that I created in the previous project. See, those are the same things. That's the same thing that gets created. When you create map notes, you're actually creating feature classes and features. That's why they have attributes.
I'll get more into editing in, in another video, in the next video. But for now, I'm going to hit save and save these edits. You can actually see what edits that you've done, which is nice. Um, and I actually want to change some symbology. So I'm going to see my contents, table of contents, and uh, close this attribute box. And let me double click on one of these things, and uh, I get a symbology box. So I'm going to grab the symbology tab, drag it over on top of the table of contents so I can actually see them both, see the tabs down at the bottom as well. Let me scroll down, and uh, I'm just going to highlight one of these and pick a different one. There's airports. Uh, scroll down here, uh, double click on the icon and change it to yellow and I can actually double click on the icon, go to uh, properties of that icon and change some of the uh, the features of it and make it a red star instead of yellow. I can make it larger and I can give it a halo. Everything is already kind of in there and it's all kind of what was once menu upon menu upon menu is all in the symbologies tab which actually is a, a pretty a handy way to do it. It kind of condenses it and makes it a lot easier to be able to do it. Really streamline the cartographic workflow of ArcGIS Pro it makes it easier. Um, the next video I'm actually going to show more about importing, more about editing and layouts. So make sure you check out that one and thanks as always for watching. Bye bye.